So video tutorials, Andrew Buckle. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can quickly fill an image with random tiles. Now, first thing to do, I'm going to use a colourful set of patterns, and that's the key thing here. Just use patterns. Instead of using, say, like a grayscale brushes, you can use colourful designs such as pattern designs and use them with the image brush tool. Now, right, first thing to do, I'm just going to actually clear all that. Don't want that anymore. And you can see one of the examples I've just created over there, but I'm just going to quickly go here, brushes, go to a view and studio and brushes, bring that up and then just go here and just select the new image brush, select that. Once you've actually done that, and this one, these are antique tiles, they're available on the Graphic Extras, but of course, site graphicextras.com, you can use obviously any other sort of photos, images, whatever you've created, as long as they're nice and colourful. Then you can fill them. Obviously, you could fill it with just grayscale designs, but I think nice colourful ones are quite good as well. So, just going to go over here and select one of the PNG files. So, the PNG file there. Perhaps move that away. Slide there, and you've got your new brush just there. It's a start point. So that's at the moment. If I just apply it, I'm just going to quickly show you apply it there. Oh, select that one. It does help. You can actually see the design, not particularly great, but it's not like a nozzle where you would see it, like in something like Painter or something. It's quite a nice sort of feature as well in itself, but I'm not doing that in this video, so I'm just going to undo all that, and then just double click on that. And once you're in there, what you can do, obviously you can modify the size a bit. They're quite fairly sizable files, so you can probably got reasonable just sort of 300, 400, whatever. So. Once you've actually done that, you can of course add rotation. You can also modify the spacing, and if you want spacing, just gonna so they're not all sort of crunching up. So modify that. You can also go to dynamics. So you can add some maybe size jitter, so you can see you can change the size. You can also go for hue jitter, so you can see you can vary the there and saturation and maybe luminosity. Right. Also, you can modify if you want to be rotated. Just rotate there, rotation jitter. Now, go over here to texture, and there's an option here for brush nozzles. So if you want, you don't just want the same thing to fill the design, you can actually fill with another one. So just, let's go and select another design there. Okay, I'm gonna select that one, and I'm gonna go for another one, and down there again, and that one. Okay. So once you've actually got your brush nozzles, you can then say close. And then what you can do, you can just basically quickly go over design and fill your background with a very colorful and random tiles that just using the image brush feature in Affinity Photo. Hope you found this of interest. Thank you much.